Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. We just got back from Disneyland and the D23 Expo and it looks like they released a bunch of new Halloween treats that look absolutely amazing. So I wanted to come out and try some of them. And then also I wanted to ride some of my favorite rides that I haven't been able to ride in a while, like Seven Doors Mine Train, maybe Splash Mountain, and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Before we venture over to the Magic Kingdom, I wanted to stop here at Disney's Grand Floridian and pick up a cake that might be the coolest looking cake Disney has ever made. When I first saw pictures of this, I was like, wow, that is so awesome. So we're going to stop here first and then head on over to the Magic Kingdom. Going out to Disneyland and experiencing my first ever D23 Expo was such a memorable experience. I loved it so much, but it's great to be home. It's great to be back at Walt Disney World. And like I said, they released a bunch of new snacks, so I really want to show you guys them. And I just want to enjoy and have fun. Like I said, ride some rides and just enjoy Magic Kingdom. We're starting to get real close to Halloween and Disney keeps on putting out a whole bunch of new snacks. Right here at Gasparilla Island Grill, they have a Hocus Pocus Black Flame cake. Like the Black Flame candle from Hocus Pocus, they made it into a cake. And let me tell you something, this, like I said, looks like the prettiest cake I've ever seen. I cannot wait to cut into it and show you guys. I am a huge fan of the Hocus Pocus movie and just the fact that we have a black flame candle dessert, I think that is the coolest thing ever. But even if you don't know what Hocus Pocus is, this is a candle cake. It's a candy corn colored sponge cake with caramel buttercream icing and it's in the shape of a, a candle and this is such a pretty dessert. Here it is, the black flame candle. This is so amazing looking. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to cut into it. You can see a little sneak peek right there, but on the inside, it is like candy corn colored and it's gonna be so cool. And they also had another dessert that I wanted to show you guys too, so I got them both. But take a look at this cake pop. Isn't that so cool? And we have the perfect view. You can actually see the castle straight ahead of us right here. They released all these snacks when I was out in California. So when I saw pictures of this, I was like, that's the first thing I'm doing when I get back. And normally I don't like cutting into food because I don't want to ruin it, but I am so excited to cut into that black flame candle to see the like candy uh, corn colored cake. I think that is so unique. I'm literally going to try to cut this down the middle exactly. I got to take the black flame out and the black flame, the black flame is actually a little chocolate. Like, look at that. This is so cool. And we're going to try to just cut right down the middle here because I want to show you how beautiful it is. But I got to be very careful. don't want to mess it up here. I think I messed it up already. I did. <laughs> Wait till you see the inside of this. Look it. Oh my lord. Isn't that so cool looking? I love it. <laughs> Seriously, when it comes to anything like Halloween treat wise, have you ever seen something so beautiful as that candy corn cake? And it's in a black flame candle, you can't go wrong. And now I gotta try it. I'm gonna take my little fork, I'm gonna get a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the orange, a little bit of the caramel buttercream. Gotta get everything in one bite. Now it's not candy corn flavor, just candy corn colored. This side is still standing, so I'm gonna do it this way. Look at this. Oh! That is too good, right? It's so funny because now we're in the hot Florida sun, so the candle is actually melting. Well, the icing's melting. Even though it looked like it was melting, it's like an illusion, but now it really is melting, so we gotta eat it quick. Now let's get to the Jack-O-Lantern Mickey Cake Pop. This is a jumbo pumpkin spiced yellow cake and it has orange colored white chocolate on it. And the, like I said, the sun is melting poor Mickey's ears. Look at this. His ears are starting to flop over. They're starting to melt, but a pumpkin uh, cake pop. I'm excited to try it. I do want to point out that these cake pops are gigantic cake pops. Like they're, they're huge. They're not like cake pops that you get from Starbucks. Like these are massive. And I'm not gonna be able to eat all this food, but I gotta at least try to pump. Oh, it's starting to slide down. Uh-oh, it's starting to slide down. I'm losing, I'm losing Mickey here. I got going for it. No time to talk. That is actually very pumpkin-y. Uh-oh, it's starting to slide down again. Gotta put it down over here. Gotta put it in a little spot right there. Very, very pumpkin-y, but I like it. I think I like the black flame candle a little bit better though. I mean, this is still cool and it's massive. 
You guys let me know in the comments which one you like more, but I gotta give it to the Black Flame Candle. That is such an awesome treat, and I'm a big fan of the Hocus Pocus movie, so. Oh, I'm excited for Hocus Pocus 2, though. That's gonna be even better. I wonder who's gonna light the Black Flame Candle this time. Like, I wonder who it's gonna be. Enough of the black flame candle business. Hopefully no one's foolish enough to light it like Max did. Now we have to make our way over to the Magic Kingdom. Gotta hop aboard the monorail. I just realized I didn't even bring my Magic Band with me today. I'm kind of getting used to Disneyland because, you know, they don't use the Magic Band over there. And uh, I didn't wear it while I was there. And I came to the parks today and I forgot. Kind of makes me sad, but I like wearing Magic Bands. I only like the old Magic Bands. I don't like the new ones. Like, I like the uh, old school style. The ones that do the special effects at the turn style. Gonna have to pull out the trusty old Walt Disney World pass holder card. I think this is from... Uh, 2020? 2020? I don't even know if it's good anymore. I'm gonna see if it works actually. Zoop. Hey, it works! And just like that, we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? I love staring down at Cinderella Castle. I mean, Disneyland is great. I love Disneyland's Main Street, but nothing can beat that castle right there. I actually hear that there's a special pre-cavalcade that's going to be celebrating uh, Hispanic Heritage Month today. So it's very exciting that we actually got here, like just today, on today's, out of all days, you know? Hola. Hello. Hola, pessoal. Este mes es muy especial. Estamos celebrando las culturas hispanas y latinoamericanas aquí en Walt Disney World. As well as guest members from OLA, the employee resource group for Hispanic cast and allies at Disney. Come and join La Fiesta because together we are Maria. That is so nifty. Look at that. Very awesome! <laughs> oh boy! Nice! Bye guys! <laughs> Woo! Bochito! <laughs> was such a nice little surprise I'm so happy that they did that and everybody was in such a good mood like it really just made me smile everyone was dancing all the cast members from the Emporium very very awesome and now like I said I really want to ride Seven Doors Mine Train and because there might be some uh, lightning in the area it might shut down so I think we're gonna head straight back there now I bought a lightning lane for it and it was only ten dollars I mean not only ten dollars but usually I'm used to seeing like things fifteen twenty dollars but I figured why not might as well, I haven't done it in a while. I think we're gonna walk up alongside the castle. It's so awesome out today right now. But look at the castle right here. Isn't that so beautiful? I love seeing it from this angle. Cause then you get the water and you get the moat there and the bridge. So beautiful. I'm also wearing my Beauty and the Beast Roosevelt shirt today. Look at this. Isn't this such a fancy shirt? Perfect shirt for Magic Kingdom. Guys, check the link in the description. Uh, it's from my personal collection page, and if you use my link, yeah, I think you get 20% off your first purchase. So check it out, it's a really cool shirt. Like I said, there's some dark clouds yonder, and it's a 65 minute wait for Seven Doors Mine Train. Honestly, I don't think it's worth the 65 minute wait. Hot, hot take here. I mean, I like Seven Doors Mine Train, but a lot of people really don't want to wait that long. So when I had the opportunity to buy just the $10 to ride it, I went for it and got it. But now I want to hop in line because if it starts lightning in the area, they're going to shut it down. And uh, if I get a return time, it won't, might not be until later. Like I said, I just got back from Disneyland and some of their individual lightning lanes were $20 a piece. So $10 for Seven Doors Mine Train. Like I said, I mean, it's not that bad, but it is that bad because you shouldn't be paying $10, but it's not that bad compared to Disneyland is what I mean. Looks like we're going row one today. There's our mine cart. Oh. All right. 
right, here we go. <laughs> wow, what a day. Woo! Look at those clouds up there. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We gotta try to keep it rocking here. Going in tight, lean to the left, lean to the right, lean to the left. Oh, Woo. oh boy. There we go, now it's time for the scariest thing in the Disney park. There she is, look at her. Terrifying, isn't it? Let's see if she makes a sound. <laughs> I'm telling you, the old hag at the end is probably the best thing about that ride. I love it every single time. And when you ride the front row, you stop right next to her and you get to just stare her down. And then once it actually starts heading in, that's when she starts doing her like evil little laugh. And I love it. <laughs> And would you look at that, just like I said, now it's starting to rain. Literally got off of it seconds and now it's coming down. I think it's going to start a downpour actually, so we might run on over to Winnie the Pooh. I think that's the closest attraction to get in line. Doesn't look like it's too bad of a line either. Oh no, it's starting the downpour. Everybody head to Pooh. <laughs> Oh wow, actually Winnie the Pooh and Tigger are now back out meeting green guests. Look at that, I hadn't seen that before. That's so awesome, I mean I've seen them during the not so scary Halloween party, but now they're here, now they're back permanently. And we're gonna hop in line because it is a downpour, it's really coming down, so rather wait in line for anything than actually be stuck out in the rain. As we're actually walking through the queue, I wanna show you some really cool things about it. One of my favorite little details inside the Wayne the Pooh queue is probably Eeyore's gloomy place. Look at how funny this is. Eeyore's gloomy place. I just picture Eeyore just sitting in there, just being gloomy. Like, <laughs> honestly, I think that's so funny. I think that would be a perfect sign. Like, I wish I could get someone to make that sign for me, and I would just like hang it somewhere. Eeyore's gloomy place. I wonder what it says on the other side. Gloomy place out? <laughs> that is so funny. I am so happy we rushed over here. It is really coming down right now. Look at this. We really lucked out here. It would be perfect by the time we got off this ride and it stopped raining. I mean, that would have been, I mean, that's going to be excellent timing. Oh, and here comes my honey pot. Look at this. I feel so fancy. <laughs> One day in the hundred acre wood, the east wind traded places with the west wind. <laughs> east wind traded places with the west wind. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, he'll never reach that tree. Bobby! Bobby! Oh dear! Hang on tightly, We're bouncing. <laughs> Don't you think it's just great, doesn't it? 
Honey just looks so delicious. <laughs> wow, what perfect timing. Looks like the rain has just stopped down to just a, a little bit of a drizzle. But I love that. We really timed that perfectly. And I didn't even try to. It's kind of funny because you get super excited when the rain stops, but at the same time, then you realize, oh wait, the humidity is actually going to go up. Because I feel like every time it rains afterwards, it gets so humid. And one of the things you like, I don't talk about much is like the difficulties when it comes to filming. And when it is super humid out, it takes me like 10 minutes to actually get my lens clean. And that's exactly what happened. I, I'm just sitting there wiping and wiping and wiping. The second you stop wiping, it just fogs up again. I'm sure anyone that actually uses the camera knows what I'm talking about but uh, yeah now it is super humid out the rain is gone but it's hot <laughs> same goes for my glasses I'm gonna be wiping them for the next 20 minutes probably <laughs> it's just something I guess it's Florida problems <laughs> When you come to the parks as much as I do, you start to notice the little bit, like the littlest thing that changes. And I was walking here in Tomorrowland and I was like, wait a second, the Merchant of Venus is actually open. And I don't think I've seen this open in a long time. It looks like they're using it for a seating area and they've got some really cool Tomorrowland signs in here I want to point out to you. Actually, I wish I can own some of these signs. If they make copies or prints of them, I think I'd buy them. Look at these, aren't they so cool? Meet the inventor of Tomorrowland's one and only time machine and see the greatest invention of all time. Today, live, yesterday, live, tomorrow, live. And then we have uh, the most hardest working uh, entertainer in the business. We have Sunny Eclipse right here on the Astro Organ. Isn't that so cool? Cosmic Rays Starlight Cafe, the first Earth restaurant franchise. And then they have the Space Home and Garden Show. These signs are so awesome right here. Vacuum cleaning, dog walking, meal cooking robots. I wouldn't mind a dog walking. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I like walking, Gracie. I was going to say. But you know what? She probably would like it. She'd probably feel like a very fancy princess. Also take a look at this one. While in Tomorrowland, stay at the Tomorrowland Towers Hover Hotel. We're far above the best. And look at luxurious gravity and anti-gravity suites. That is so cool. I love all of this stuff. You got the Astro Orbiter, the Antique Rocket Show. These are so fun looking. Just wanted to stop and point out those signs because I thought they were cool. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Sometimes I, I get tricked because I think something's cool, but it's not. And then sometimes I hype it up. But maybe you guys think it might be cool. I don't know. We're going to make our way back out to the front of the castle and then hopscotch over to Frontierland and Adventureland. Kind of swooped down and skipped over Tomorrowland. But there's not a lot that I can do, even though I did want to ride the people mover. Oh, maybe we'll come back and do that later. Oh boy, abort mission. The rain is starting again. We gotta rush, we gotta make it. Gotta make it to Adventureland. I don't even know why I'm going to Adventureland. Maybe I wanna go to Frontierland. I don't know what to do. We're kinda just running, cause the rain is coming, so I gotta find some shelter. Gotta seek shelter. I'm gonna cross the bridge. I found a gazebo, let's hide out here. I ran to the nice little pretty gazebo over in Liberty Square, just so I can get some coverage for a little bit. 
it's very nice over here, very quiet. I kind of can hear the, the ambient music and uh, hopefully the rain stops soon. <laughs> wow, it is really raining right now. I'm happy we're underneath this gazebo, but it just seems so funny. Like, <laughs> I'm just standing back here all by myself. Look, oh man, there's lightning, but there is nobody around me. I got this whole little area to myself. Oh boy, I kind of feel like I can perform back here. And the thunder rolls, bam, bam, bam. And the thunder rolls, bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. The thunder rolls, and the lightning strikes. Another love goes cold on a sleepless night. I'll be here all week. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, oh yes, thank you, thank you. By all means, I don't think I'm a good singer, but I like to get that raspy voice sometimes and bring out my inner Garth Brooks. And I'm sure there's gonna be a couple people in the comment section, you know those people. You know the ones that are like, hey, don't quit your day job. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> but I like it. I feel like it's perfectly fitting right now. I love the rain, bring it on. All right, I have been here for I'd say 30 minutes and it's not letting up. So we're gonna have to make a run for it. Here we go. We're gonna try to make it to the ye old Christmas shop. Wait a second. Sounded like it just stopped a little bit. No, it didn't. All right, we're going for it. Got my hat, gonna cover the camera and we're going. We're going for it. Exit. Woo. Woo. Run. Bob and weave, bob and weave, in and out, in and out. Woo. There we go. At least we made it somewhere else. <laughs> this is what you gotta do to avoid the rain. Basically hop from one building to the next. So I made it to the ye old Christmas shop. Now I'm gonna try to make it over to the uh, Liberty Tree Tavern. Well, that was a little bit of a mistake because when I tried to get up on the porch there, there was no spot to actually go. So we made it over here. Now we can kind of walk through here. Our goal is to make it to the Country Bear Jamboree where we can sit down and get some high-class entertainment. I think I think it's working good. I'm not too soaked. Oh, it's starting to flood here, though. It's starting to flood at the Magic Kingdom. It's funny because I'm sure tomorrow you're gonna see videos all over the place like flood at Magic Kingdom, hurricane hits Walt Disney World, a tornado in Epcot. You know what I mean? Because of all this crazy weather. Ooh, oh, 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 man, did you see that? It's got hit with like lightning like four times in a row and the storm's right on top of us, so I'm expecting a big, big thunder here any second. Or maybe it's not gonna happen. Oh. Very little thunder, little thunder. But there it is. We've actually trenched through the rain so that we can make it over here for a wild, wooly good time. Well, that kind of just made me a little sad. The theater is actually closed due to weather. So there's no country bears at the moment. It's kind of just like a, a shelter area so you can get out of the rain. I guess it's kind of cool that we can walk through it. And I think we can walk through it and walk into Pecos Bill. So might as well do that. Honestly, I did not know that they did this actually, but it's kind of cool. We get to kind of browse around the theater a little bit Nothing going on in here. Just a bunch of people hiding out from the rain Well, I was kind of hoping that there wouldn't be anybody down here. Oh, hi friends. Hi, how are you? <laughs> but look, there's a lot of people hiding out from the rain in here. Very cool. I don't understand why the lightning or the rain would affect the indoor theater. I don't know. Huh? Do they always do that? Have you guys ever seen that before? I'm starting to think I should have just stayed at the gazebo. <laughs> it's a bad idea coming to Pecos Mills. It is so crowded in here. The good news is, is we can basically navigate all the way to Adventureland. Might be able to sneak over to Pirates. Might be able to. We've made our way through Pecos Bills and now we're on the other side, coming out probably right across from pirates here, let's see. Just gotta keep on navigating our way. Oh yeah, perfect. I think this is gonna happen. It's gonna work out good for us. And would you look at that. Pirates is only a 15 minute wait. Just gotta cross the street. Run! <laughs> We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it! Yes! Oh, that's too good. 
15 minutes. You see that? We're gonna make the best out of every single day. We're not gonna let a little rain damper our experience. Now we get to do parts of the Caribbean without even waiting. I like it. We got row one. Look at the water, it's smelling extra bromaney today. <laughs> Here is my favorite pirate of all time. Drinking with his cats. <laughs> Banana rum. was so much fun but now it's the moment of truth to see if the rain stopped or not I don't know didn't look promising when we walked in and it does not look promising when you get to the gift shop either as soon as you get off the ride and you see all this you know it's not looking good outside hopefully though no. maybe I can I mean I could do it a little a little drizzle but what we was going on before I mean that was a downpour Sadly, it does not look like the rain is gonna end, so I was able to buy a umbrella from the Pirates gift shop, and we're just gonna wing it. There we go. Oh, my hat doesn't fit underneath it. Now we're just walking around, all safe from the umbrella. I just got myself a new pair of sneakers, and they're probably soaked. Breaking them in here, breaking them in good. Well, it doesn't look like it's gonna stop raining anytime soon, but doesn't the castle look beautiful right now? Holy moly. I mean, actually, I'm loving the ambience of the whole entire park. Everyone's starting to make their way out because I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna keep raining like this all the way till park close. And just seeing all the lights turn on, I'm gonna pan behind us here because I'm standing right in the middle of Main Street. And look at this. Isn't this so nice? Holy moly. What a beautiful night. Even, even though we got a little rain, this is really nice. And seeing all those ponchos. Look at all those ponchos. I think today was a great day. We laughed, we cried, we ran, we sang, we danced, we ate a bunch of snacks, rode a bunch of rides. Yeah, it's a good Magic Kingdom kind of day. One last glorious shot down Main Street. Look at this, seriously. Rainy days sometimes can be the best days, especially for photos and stuff. Like right here, I think this is such a cool like photo, seeing all of those ponchos, the pumpkins. The castle is the perfect lighting right now with the backdrop. Very, very cool. Well, it looks like the express monorail and the resort monorails are a little backed up. That's probably because there's no uh, resort transportation, like no resort boat transportation. And since we're actually over at the Grand Floridian, I think I think we're just gonna enjoy a nice little walk. A nice night for a walk. Mind if I join ya? It looks like they are running the boats right now to the resorts. And I think I'm gonna take a boat instead of walking because the walkway is flooded, like big time flooded. I'd say at least uh, seven, maybe eight inches of water right here. And I don't wanna walk through that right now. Like my feet would not survive that. So I think we're gonna take a boat over. There's our boat. Gonna take us back over to the resort here. And I was able to put the umbrella away because we're underneath here. Got a little coverage. Thank you very much. I decided to sit outside, which is uh, you know, a pretty good idea because then you get to see all the beautiful lightning in the area, but uh, the seats are wet and now I'm a soggy bottom boy. <laughs> I'm pretty soggy. <laughs> there it is, the Grand Floridian. And look, you can still see the sun setting right there. I think that's the oh no, that's just a Polynesian. <laughs> that's so funny. The sunset sets on the other side. Ooh, but look at that! Some fancy lightning right there. Woo! But that glare right there, that's actually just a Polynesian. <laughs> that's too funny. 
and now we have made it back to the Grand Floridian. I have some friends staying here, so I wanted to catch up with them real quick and uh, kind of hang out and relax. So I figured I'd just call it a day, but I had so much fun today. It was really cool to be able to come out, enjoy the park a little bit, try some of the new snacks, getting caught in the rain, you know, so many cool, memorable moments. And also, I wanted to let you guys know, I made my first big donation to Give Kids the World Village, and I just want to thank you guys. If you guys have been following along, we had a live stream auction where we auctioned off some Disney props, some of the things that I've collected, and we raised some money for Give Kids the World. And I made my first donation today, and it was for $17,000. $17,100. Thank you guys so much. That is tremendous. I can't even believe that I took part in something like that. Like, unbelievable so many families i think that's like maybe five or six families just from that alone we are going to be sending five or six families to give kids the world village and that is the most heartwarming thing and that's only one more we still have more that i actually have to do i did another auction we're going to have more donations and if you guys are interested DizCon is actually right around the corner. DizCon is coming up. Uh, it's a two-day event. It's a special Disney convention, and all proceeds benefit Give Kids the World Village. And it's cool. There's going to be live entertainment there, tons of things like props that they auction off, Tony Baxter, so many celebrities. And uh, Give Kids the World is actually partnering up with me. And there's a link in the description where we're going to give you 50% off tickets to come. And it's like I said, it's a two-day event inside Coronado Springs. And then there's a separate ticket event for Epcot on the anniversary, the 40th anniversary, they're having an after hours party where the whole place is gonna get rented out. And those tickets, everything is going to give kids the world. So check the uh, link, uh, check the description, the links in the description if you guys are interested. I'm gonna be there, so I might see you around. I also might be auctioning off um, a little dinner date with me. So, and that's gonna be through Give Kids the World. They're actually gonna be auctioning off dinner with Paging Mr. Morrow. I think it's gonna be so fun. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And wow. <laughs> Anywho, we'll see you next time. Bye.